Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to our daily devotion for strength, wisdom, and power. Welcome also to Sunday, the ninth day in April 2023. This is Sunday, is Easter Sunday. As the power of God lifted Jesus from the grave up to the sky in Easter, in resurrection. So will the power of God lift you to the highest level ever. In the name of Jesus. God will change your status, increase you in every area, and will make you a surprise to your generation. Who is this? God's mercy and grace shall be heavy over your life. You will never live in tears. You will go from strength to strength. Divine power will be there for you every day of your life. God will visit you in a way difficult to explain. Before Easter 2024, your dream house, dream marriage, dream paper, dream children, and everything you are trusting God for will have been delivered. You will be so amazed. God will make you a wonder to your generation. He will turn your tears into laughter. He will remove every discomfort from you, and you will become a point of reference for what God can do. All April night born people, let me pray for you. Born in Easter season, your life will witness massive turn around. You will be fulfilled in every area in Jesus' name. Listeners, let's see how many issues can we permit us to treat today. Please listen, learn, and apply. First one today. Over 10 years of abusive marriage. I want to file for divorce, but family and friends are saying, I should endure for the sake of my children. Kindly advise me, Daddy. Wow, abusive marriage for 10 years. I have spoken severally on this. If it is physical abuse, like beating you and threatening your life, run for your dear life. At least separate yourself for a moment. Sometimes that separation used to reset the brain of some husbands. Of course, there are those of them that are arrogant and extremely stubborn that will not care. Some will even go and acquire another woman, who of course will come and suffer what you have suffered. At any rate, it is better to be alive for God, for self, and for your children. If he mistakenly kill you one day from extreme beating, the family that asks you to endure we only mourn for a while, and they will move on with their life. My only other concern is if you are financially independent, to live without his financial support, which, unfortunately, many housewives do not have. And I've said again and again, the best security for a woman is to own her own money. I hope women and wives are listening. Next, how can I get back money that I lent to somebody, but isn't ready to pay back. I have prayed, fasted, begged the person, sent text message, call, and even pay back to see, but still no result. Please, sir, what steps can I do? Because I'm really tired. Wow, I have talked on this several times. I know many new people are joining Tony Point Global Family every day, so I have to keep repeating some of the teachings. It was a big mistake on your part, to lend people your money, your hard-earned money, when you are not a banking institution or a financial house. Don't let people money. You cannot afford to dash or forget. When people come to you to borrow money, give them whatever little money you can sow as a seed. And so to them, I don't have money to lend you. I don't even lend people money. But take this small gift to add to what you have and pray that the Lord will supply all their needs. I cannot calculate how much of my money are with people lent or loaned out to them, which they fail to pay back. Many times, you will not only lose your money, you also lose a friend or a member in the church. If you did that in church, they will cut off from you completely. Never, never borrow people money. And don't also go borrowing money. Cut your coat according to your size. What to do in your own case to get your money back? Well, prayers and patience. Especially if there are no logo, letter documentations, letter papers you sign concerning the money. Next, good morning, Pastor. I have not been able to participate in the Sunday, Saturday Holy Communion as I do not know how to prepare the Holy Communion food and drink. Wow, it's simple. A piece of bread, a small one, or a piece of cake, even biscuit. 
Then a small cup of red juice, Zobo, non-alcoholic drink. And if it's going to contain alcohol at all, very low percentage, maybe 2 to 5%, not more. And of course, there are many non-alcoholic drinks. That's what we use. And like I said, it's going to be alcohol at all. It must be a very small percentage. The Zobo drink is also good. Something reddish. Remember, it is symbolic and, pro and prophetic. Starting with us next Saturday. Next, good day, Pastor. This is my question. I have this appointment with the lady I want to marry because of distance relationship. My mother does not want me to marry far away from home. I am confused. What can I do, sir? Wow. Although the word of God says we should honor our father and our mother, that injunction does not cover choosing who to spend the rest of your life with. Our parents, especially the not so, the not so educated ones and not so widely traveled ones, are so strong in tradition and superstition. You are the one who should be matured enough to patiently explain, educate, and convince your parents that this is the best thing that will be good to spend the rest of your life with. At a point in the life of a son or a daughter, you should be able to convince your parents on certain choices you make, including marriage. For all you know, marrying from your tribe or from your village does not guarantee a happy marriage, although there is an advantage in marrying from your race or tribe if you find one that met all the qualities that the Bible stipulated. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 to 16. Then a true friend, you should marry a true friend, that you share the same vision, the same passion, a gentleman to the core, and an amiable lady. So, be a man and be matured enough to carry your parents along and convince them. Next, good morning, daddy. Please, sir, what can be the cause of someone's crave of eating clay soil and finding it very difficult to stop? Is this spiritual or natural? Wow, I had to go to Google to check this out. And it says, eating clay or dirt is called geophagia. People usually get the desire to do it when they have a nutritional deficiency, especially when they are low in iron. That is the reason. Well, I suggest to the person concerned that you should see a therapist. The book or the expert may say it is normal, but I think it is not normal. God did not say to Adam and Eve when he created them in the garden, thou shalt be eating clay and soil. I also sense a spiritual undertone in eating soil and clay. So, spiritual warfare prayers. Whatever God did not say it is so from the beginning, should not be so in our lives now. With a spiritual warfare, make it meditation and then ministration. Listeners, we'll take it off from here tomorrow. I hope you are getting blessed. Please rebroadcast this to all of your contacts. Help us to do so daily. Let's grow Turning Point around the whole world. All members and listeners of Turning Point in and around Lagos, join us in a super Easter Sunday service today and Easter Monday picnic. Time for Easter Sunday service today is 7.30 to 9.30 a.m. for service and 9.30 to 11.30 a.m., second service. Pick the one you prefer. Tomorrow, Easter Monday picnic in Ikeja, Lagos, will kick off by 10 a.m., arrive on time. Also, all members and listeners in and around Ibadan, today's Easter Sunday service in Dominion City will be 7 to 9 a.m., first service, and 9 to 11 a.m., second service. Attend the one that is most convenient for you. Easter picnic in Dominion City, Ibadan, tomorrow, Starts 10 a.m. Telephone number for more information for the Lagos service is Dupe on 0806-478-8392. For Dominion City Ibadan, call any of these two numbers, 0802-8983562 or 0803-400-7854. Start calling and chatting now. Attend Easter Sunday service today an Easter Monday picnic tomorrow from 10 a.m. Now, let me say this to those who will understand the spiritual meaning and do so willingly and cheerfully. 
Easter was when Jesus Christ made the most painful sacrifice ever to save humanity. He was humiliated, he suffered, he was crowned, he hung on the cross, he bled, and he died. What is sacrifice? Now, should you do, let's do this. Can you follow Jesus in this step? First Peter chapter 2 verse 21 says, he says, Christ has suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow in his steps. Example to follow in his steps. Can you sow a sacrificial, painful seed connected to Easter and the suffering of Jesus Christ and tie some very crucial areas and issues of your life and family to it? It may be directly your issues or your children. Sicknesses, delay, marriage, paper, conception, something very, very crucial. As I said, it is not for all people, it's not for all listeners. It's for those who can follow him in the sacrificial step. So it and say, Lord Jesus, my Lord and God, I tie this temple sacrificial Easter resurrection seed to so, 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 and so. Describe the miracle you desire and send it to the commission's account or paper within the next 48 hours. That is two days and see what will happen. And if you want us to send you the commission's account to do that, send a WhatsApp message or please send me the commission's account to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. Do so and let us see. There are seeds, sacrificial seeds that brings a turnaround. Something moves when it touches your bone. Something moves in heaven. Jesus sacrificed the highest during Easter. Can you give a sacrificial seed connected to that sacrifice and that Easter? Do so, if God is leading you to do so. I prophesy to everyone's life a level of grace and power you have never known before descend on you today. What God cannot do does not exist. God sends me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Happy Easter.